really now that I have the upper end take off that was really the hard part now there's just uh, really just 12 bolts one two three there's six on each side I'm just going to take these all off these are all eight millimeter There's one down, 11 to go. Just kick them all out. Is all that side done now? I've got the other side. Six bolts on the other side.
Really? Okay, that's the last bolt. Got all the bolts out. Okay, this is the lower intake. Gotta pull this out, hopefully. Oh, yeah. And it's out. Those are the lower intake gaskets. That's where these things leak from. And I'm gonna clean all this up, replace these gaskets. Throw it all back together. You can see the 12 bolts. That's the only thing holding those. Really, the lower end takes a lot easier to get off than the upper one is. But uh, yeah, I'm going to clean all this up and change out the gaskets. Okay, let's see what I got here. I'm um, getting ready to just clean up all this stuff. Cleaning up all these. Uh, this dirty flange surfaces, they're pretty crusty. I'm going to clean this all up and get ready to throw my lower intake back in. But right now I'm just cleaning up stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you guys a picture when I'm done cleaning. Okay, just to show you guys, I cleaned that up pretty good. See how it's nice and shiny. Uh, what I used was the scotch Brite pad and a little bit of uh, carb cleaner. And it was pretty bad. But now it looks pretty good. And I think I'm ready to throw my uh, intake back in, my lower intake. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go replace the gaskets on it and show you guys. And I've got my gaskets here, just going to put one in at a time. I hope. I'm just going to kind of smush it down until it pops in. These all have little rings on them. They just kind of push right in. Okay, that's one. You're just going around pushing them in. Okay, pretty easy. Those are in. Just push them in. And last one. Okay. Now this thing's ready to throw in. 
I'm, gonna, I'm not going to change out the top part yet. I'm going to change the top out part when I got it in the car. But this thing's ready to slap in. I'm just going to try to line this up and get all the bolts started. I'm going to try setting this intake in here. I think it's in place. Just got to get all the bolts started. This one right here. Yeah, I'm just snugging it up by. Just got that one started. I'm not trying to really torque them down. I'm just get on to get my goal is to get all the bolts in. Okay, I think I got that one started. Got a couple turns on. Okay, just got a couple turns on it. Started it. Okay, we got that one started. Up here. Got that one started. Okay. So this one right here. Got that one started. Okay, got that one started. I think. Alright, by this one. Okay, got that one started. Try this one right here. That one started. Okay, that one got started. Okay. I think I got it started. Nope. 
Yep. Got to start it. Okay, last bolt, I think. I got I to gotta put the camera down for this last one, but you guys get the idea. The uh, torque spec on the lower intake, those 8 millimeter bolts should be torqued to, it says in the book, uh, 107 to 123 inch pounds. Notice I said inch pounds, not foot pounds, inch pounds. If you torque that to 100 foot pounds, you're going to snap that bolt for sure. I don't know if you guys know, but 12 inch pounds equals one foot pound. Torque them all to 110 foot-pounds. I'm just going to go back over them one more time. Yeah, I'm hoping you guys can see this. I'm going I'm to swap out these two gaskets up top now. Give it one more wipe down. You just take a pick. Same as the others. You just get your little pick and dig in there and pop it out. You see those three are connected. Just like the back three are connected. And there you have it. Now, I'm going to clean this out one more time. Spray it down. And wipe it up real good.
focusing on where the flanges are. You can see where this little notch is right right here. This notch, you'll, you'll look for the notches. There's one here and there's one on this side. You just fit these in the notches and then push them down. Hopefully. Okay, I think that one's in pretty good. Now for the back one. And the back one notches. Same thing, you find that little notch and it's on this side. So you line up the notch. Like that. All the gaskets are in place. I think I'm ready to throw the uh, upper, upper intake back on. I'm just going to try setting this in place a little bit. Okay. Now, as I said, this part's going to be the hard part. Now, let's craft the line up. I gotta push this thing down, but I'm not gonna push it down yet. As you can see, I flipped that over. Actually, it's kind of slipped right in, but I still gotta seat that down a little bit. Okay. Let me show you guys. It's that clip I was talking about right here. I'm going to try to get that in. This one's a lot tighter than the other side is. This one's facing down. Oh, I like the way that one fits a whole lot better than the way this one fits. Ok. 
Okay, I think I just felt the seat in there. Got all the all the bolts started. They're almost in, but I couldn't show you guys that. I, I had to hold this thing down because it kept moving. I'd go to start this bolt and start that one and it'd roll off its gaskets. So I held this thing down and I got all made sure I could start all the bolts. And I got them all started. Got the two in the back. Back there. There's a... I showed you guys where they're at. Now I'm going to start the, uh, the one where the, the two by the eye act. Okay, I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna snug all these down with this and I'm gonna torque them to spec. Okay, I got all my bolts in, all eight of them, and the torque spec for those bolts are 62 inch pounds. Okay, I'm gonna put this throttle position sensor back together. That's in. This vacuum hose to go back on. Just gonna push that on right there. I gotta snap this uh, purge solenoid in. I gotta find the uh, vacuum hoses for that. Got the top one on. Got the bottom one on. They snapped in. Okay, so I got those, those vacuum hoses on. Now, this one's kind of hard. This hose, it goes, snaps into the top of the PCV. You gotta, like, feel for it. Push it down. Okay, it's pushed in. Oh yeah, brake booster hose over there. Here's the brake booster hose. Snapping this on. Slip 
this in and just goes in put the bolt in Okay, nice and tight. Don't want to make it too tight, that's plastic. We can break that real easy. Okay. Oh, yeah. I gotta slip this uh, throttle cable back in so I'm going to lift that up and you pull slack push it in You got that one tight. I'll tighten this one down. Okay. I'm gonna put these hoses back in. I gotta put that computer back together. So let me do that real quick. Okay, you guys can see how I, I didn't show you how I took it apart, I explained it, but watching me put it back together, you guys should be able to understand. Here's the uh, stud I got to screw into the firewall. That one's right here. Need a deep well 7 16ths for this.
snug. I'll need to slide this computer over and get this grounding on there. Line that up. Now you gotta. There's two. There's two grooves. You gotta slide this connector in. Make it work. And you just uh, take a 10 millimeter. Start tightening this plug down. And it should drag it in. That's pretty tight, I don't want to make it too tight. But that plugs in. Now there's another bolt that screws over this one. Hold everything down. It's a 7 16th. That should be good. To get this eye I can. I'm gonna raise up, use this hose, stick this hose in. It's easier to do it while it's up. And rotate this. It's in there like that. And I got four T20 screws. Got to screw this in. Just going to get them all started. Okay. Okay. Let's see what happens.
Well, I'm just gonna let it run for a while. Here's what my fuel trim's doing. I changed out those those gaskets and it made a big difference. However, it's still I still have a vacuum leak somewhere. Uh, but before, if you guys remember when I showed you this last time, I think my my long-term fuel trims for bank two was maxed out at 25, and my long-term fuel trims for for bank one was about oh I think it was around between 15 and 16. But as you can see, the the bank two went down about 10, and bank one got got about about five points better. So it's in the right direction. Something got better. And I, I know it's still a vacuum leak because when I when I pop pop the accelerator, the fuel trims they they, they take a nose dive. That indicates a vacuum leak. See, but so still uh, still trying to find this stupid thing. But it is better, and my my vehicle is actually starting a lot easier now too. Uh, sometimes when your vehicle gets real lean it, it could be a hard start but uh, it started right up let me show you guys it's starting a lot better and to me it sounds better but still got a problem though